Rachel bone dry you, practice yeah, today. And you had the uh, the honor of cutting the first tracks down a soaking wet qualifying track? Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. It was horrific being at the top for like 40 minutes just watching the rain come down. And I, I kind of wasn't that worried. Like, I was like, oh, I went through the track. Oh, but that bit would be fine. That bit would be fine. Yeah, that bit would be bad. But I thought, you know, it, I'd be able to ride it and then I got on track and I was surprised how shiny it was. All those berms and all the hard pack bits were just shiny and I was like, oh my god. And all I had to do was keep going and not fall off and I fell off twice. And then Sven on track had time to tell me, don't worry about it, just keep going. And I was like, thanks Sven. And it was, it was fucked, it was horrific. Like the worst thing I've ever done. Um, so yeah, fair play to everyone. Well, you had top two at the first two splits, so. Something, yeah, something to mean, take away from it? Yeah, yeah. It's just annoying because it just feels like a waste of a day, you know, when it's like you've been practicing and, it's, and then it changes for the race, but you know, it's the way it is. Now the sun's out again. If it rains tomorrow, I'll be pissed. <laughs> pissed off. And pissed on alcohol. <laughs> Double pissed. All right, better luck tomorrow. I'm Rip Huron. Down in the, the mud today, uh, doesn't look like you held back much. Seven seconds up. <laughs> or three seconds up. Three, 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 three. Right. But it's pretty good. It was like uh, really sketchy. So, so muddy. We didn't really ride in this condition before. So, it was uh, the first one. <laughs> and that was pretty sketchy after some uh, slide. Uh, okay, take it easy. And uh, I tried to be really smooth. And I didn't crash, I didn't go out of the track, so that was not too bad. Were you, were you, were you thinking you, you wanted to, to be as aggressive as possible, or were you just trying no. to be smooth? Did you have any game plan? If you, if you go aggressive, you, you crash or you go go out, for sure. I tried to be a bit fast at the top, but in the first, uh, first job, okay, no, it's too, too slippery, keep it easy. And uh, you guys didn't have much time to, to prepare with the, the rain coming down right at the beginning of qualifying. Did you make any changes to your bike at the last minute? No, no, my bike is working well, so I just adapt my riding. And same tires? Same tires, same, because I, I already had the, the mud tires, so I keep it, and same tire pressure, same setup, same bike. All right, are you hoping it just stays wet at this point, or are you looking for it to dry up a bit tomorrow? Today I was not uh, praying for this, but uh, it's funny, so if you can pray. No, no matter for me, it's cool, the track is cool, so. All right, man, good job. Thank you. Finn Isles, uh, second place today. You, you weren't a protected rider. Were you, you holding back any? Um, well, I was in the start gate, and I kind of saw the first corners, and they looked not as slippery as, it, as I was expecting. And uh, so, I kind of just rode really smooth and round, and I felt like where it was a bit drier, I felt like I kind of could see it coming in, so I'd like push a little bit harder, and then from there I'd just sort of ride flowy, ride smooth, ride round, and not get out of my comfort zone, but kind of not be too safe. Just nice and easy, and you know, nice and smooth. And uh, that, count. that rain rolled in after practice, so you guys hadn't seen the track yeah, at all. Yeah, it was, was kind of like bone dry, right? right at the end of practice, so I was like really looking forward to it. I was like, this is optimum conditions. It's like a bit tacky, but a bit dry in a few spots, and it was like pretty fast, and then started raining a little bit, and a little bit more, and a little bit more, and then after the juniors had gone, it like rained pretty hard, and so all the guys were kind of in a similar boat, but um, I don't know, I ride a lot of wet stuff at home, so I felt like all I needed to do is just cruise instead of trying to push, and Kevin, Kevin and I sort of worked on a bike setup that would work for this, and went well. More in the tank for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I think so. We'll see what the conditions are like, but I'm pretty confident in my riding right now, so I think that tomorrow's gonna be a good day. All right, man, good luck. Sweet, thank you. And came 60s in. Hey, Eddie Masters, fresh off of uh, slaying some, some muddy Rudy Enduro the last few weeks. Yeah. Good preparation for uh, unexpectedly wet track this afternoon. Yeah, I don't think anything would prepare you for that. It was a bit of a battlefield out there, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, couldn't quite stay on the bike. Uh, and rolled into 63rd, which is three places out with the new qualifying system, Oof. which is disappointing, but 
I felt pretty good all weekend, so I had, I had a lot of fun. So hopefully just take that confidence on to Andorra. Right. Yeah, and have another crack. Drown your sorrows in some Italian one coffee, coffee. One one coffee per crash. So we're going for a serious bean up. You'd be lit. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be lit. Cheers, man. Sweet. Danny Hart, fourth place today. Uh, how wild was your qualifying run after that that downpour? Yeah, the, it, it must have rained way more than I had anticipated because it, it was crazy. Like it was muddy in the trees, you know, and um, really slippery. So. I set off and I had a crash yesterday in the rain in the top turns so I went, just went nice in the top foot, a few turns in the open and then I went straight into the trees and it was dry so I pushed on a little bit then I popped out the trees and it was just a, it was muddy and horrible so then you're like trying to figure it out and uh, when I look at the splits I just lost time all the way down just riding a bit careful but I'm happy with how it's gone and I've got some good points and I'm a bit behind in the overall battle so good to get some points and some front guys have lost a few points so I'm, I'm happy with how it's gone I'll go up and go up there in the morning and uh, like ride down the side with my with team manager tomorrow and, and walk it if you like and then we'll reevaluate after that and see how it goes uh, you didn't have much warning before for your run the rain yeah. coming in did you guys make any changes to the bike or just run the tires you had and we didn't change it was touch and go we're changing the tires we made the decision to stay on the dries because we didn't think it would have gotten into the trees so much but it must have rained harder like further down the hill and, and uh, we made a mistake there i don't think it would have made a huge difference but just a little bit maybe but you know anything helps when it's like that all right Something to think about for tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's getting them all <laughs> prepped for tomorrow, but watch, it'll be 30 degrees in the morning and we'll need bloody semi slip. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> sun's out now. <laughs> <Any luck? laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you. So, yeah, they're looking a little, uh, a little worse for wear there. Punched the ground pretty hard yesterday. Yeah, pretty beaten up. Just big crash last time run yesterday. Stable bars in a rock garden, big crash, facing the rocks and put my hand down and done something to my wrist. So. You know, I didn't think we went to hospital and thought that was it, game over, but today we strapped it up and good painkillers down me and I managed to scrape through qualifying and you know, mid-twenties at the moment, so pretty over the moon at the moment. Yeah. Well done. How, uh, how wild was that with the rain rolling in right before practice, uh, right was, before qualifying, it sorry. It was unbelievable, yeah, so hard, you know. It was just a gamble riding down, you know. No idea what to do with tyres and bike set up. And much more difficult than I thought. And, you know, I made it down, survived it, but it was, yeah, one of the hardest race runs I've done. Did you guys change anything at the top, or it was so close to qualifying, did you just run the bike as it was? Softened it a lot, just to give me that kind of traction over roots and rocks, um, drop tire pressures a little bit. You know, I was doing that anyway with the injury, because, you know, I was not riding aggressively at all. I was just looking for that kind of consistent, smooth, safe run. So, you know, luckily we got it, and fingers crossed for tomorrow. All right, man. Hopefully the weather cooperates a bit more. Yeah, fingers crossed. Cheers, man. Cheers. Loris, nice dry practice session this morning, followed by uh, torrential rain right before qualifying. How'd yeah. that change things up? It was just like pretty much on draw. Like you find your line, you pick, you're like, okay, I'm gonna ride it. So sometimes I was just like, ooh, that's a new line. Never done that before, even since like the past four years. So yeah, you have to impro improvise. That's the word. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> So is it, was practice helpful at all, just to tell you where the turns were? Exactly, you just like, you know the track, but when it's wet, it's a different one. It's just like, you go to a safe place where there's dirt and you know, there's not many, so it's just a struggle from top to bottom to stay on the bike, and that was my struggle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, better luck tomorrow. Yeah, I hope tomorrow's gonna be better. We'll see.